I'll be producing an in-depth look at the Phantom 4 that I just got in, but that'll be in a few days. Right now, I just want to show you a few cool things I found out about the new Phantom 4 drone. <laughs> She party. <laughs> I'll show you the first flight I took in a moment, but right now, even more exciting than that was when the thing arrived. This is my view as I sat with my nose pressed against the window, looking down the road, waiting, hoping that I would see that brown vehicle turn the corner. And lo and behold, it did. Here it comes, down the road, and I knew that my new Phantom 4 drone was inside. Oh, the excitement was bubbling up in me like some bad uncooked sushi. Sushi's already uncooked, right? Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. UPS is here. UPS is here. Hi, hey, is that going? for me? Uh, let's see who we got here. <laughs> I just want to hug you, man. I want to hug. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I've been waiting for this so long. It's from uh, Copter Source. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Have you been hugged before, sir? Uh, it was a while. Really? Oh, man. Not an everyday occurrence. Oh, yeah. That's bad with a hug, though. Yeah. Hold on. I'll sign anything you want. Best day ever. <laughs> there you go. This guy just made my day. Thanks, Brown. You bet. All right. <laughs> All right, see you. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the fun stuff. This is the inside of the battery port, and it's empty because I'm charging it right now. But you can pre-order spare batteries right now at coptersource.com. I really love copter source. <laughs> now I'm just gonna move the Phantom 3 over, out of frame, way over here, out of frame, because it's the 4 we're gonna talk about right now. The first thing you'll notice is the sheen. It's got a nice, smooth feel to it. The controller is the same way. It's nice and smooth plastic, and this part right here, on the Phantom 3, that was plastic. This is metal. I wouldn't recommend tapping it too hard. I've only had it about an hour and a half, but already I am loving it, especially the propellers. They just come right off like that. Quick and easy. Hmm? Hmm? Mm hmm? <laughs> Here's something I bet you didn't know. This nice, white, smooth, pristine surface can be drawn on with a dry erase marker. <laughs> oh no, what is he doing? He's ruining that new Phantom 4. <laughs> Not really. Look at that. All gone. Bye bye, brand new. It's like a flying dry erase board. <laughs> so you can draw on it whatever you want. You can put your name, you can put your FAA license number. You can draw a picture of your best friend. Or a handy dandy website where you can buy one of these wonderful machines. Coptersource.com. Now we'll head outside for my first flight. All right, here we go. I'm going to take off. Do the easy, uh, the auto takeoff. I haven't touched anything yet. I've got 10 satellites. Awesome. I'm going to turn around so it can see me. Hi! Raise it up a little bit. Lower the camera. All right. Let's go for a little trip over to the lake. Fast forwarding the video. And here we are at the lake. Now on the way back, I'm gonna put it into sport mode to see just how fast it can get back to the radio station. This is not sped up video. 
Of course, when it's in sport mode, you will see the propellers because it has to tilt at an extreme angle to get that speed. But boy, howdy, it's fast. And I always recommend that you catch your copter. Don't land it. Uh, you can. It lands very nicely on its own or with your control, but I feel like it jars all the mechanisms inside. And it's a lot easier just to catch the thing in your hand. But do be careful. Well, hello again. <laughs> that was fun. Come on over here so I can catch you. Thank you so much for watching. I just had to get this video up and out there to you. This is exceeding all of my expectations with every second that I have it. If you would like one for yourself, you can pre-order right now.